Hey, how's it going, everybody? So we're here with the uh, blue Chevy Cobalt here. We're going to do some brakes on it uh, for a young lady. Um, let's turn that like that. And get the wheel off. And then we'll put a jack stand underneath it. Oop, my help, I had the right socket. the question now what I do it <laughs> that's a million dollar question where did I put the three-quarter socket at how about right there in the bag You see how loose that was, right? Every once in a while, you should always check your lug nuts. Just snug them down every once in a blue moon. A loose, really? Uh, one of them was pretty loose. I could have took it off probably with my fingers. Move that over here, grab our jack stand. Gotta go up, way up with this car. Your car sits really low. <laughs> yeah. I love little cars. I will when I get a little older. And this hip, this hip that I had dislocated on a motorcycle about 10 years ago starts hurting me. Then I'll want, you know, a low sitting car. I won't want to climb up in these big trucks anymore. I don't know why I go with little cars, but if you remember the big could you Could you pump that for me? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Like one big one. One more? Yeah. Well, that's it. That is it. Okay. Now. Okay. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Make sure it drops in the groove. There's a groove underneath here for just this reason. Mm -hmm. Oh, could you pump that just a little bit? That's good. Perfect. Now we're in that little notch there. There we go. See, on this car, an engineer was thinking about that. Oh, well, wait a minute. The jack's not going to raise it up high enough, so we need to do something and put a notch in there so they could get a jack stand underneath it. Smart. Okay. Now, let's grab our bag here. That. Can you go a little bolt real quick? If I drop this, I gotta redo the pads. 
Oh, not the right size. There we go. All right. So just right over here on the other side right there. You got the new brake pads? Okay. Awesome. Just got stuck in there when I went to pop it out at an angle. I couldn't grade it out of there. It's not too bad of shape. About a quarter of the way left on them. Oh. Got my new hardware? Sure did. I like when it comes with new hardware. Yeah, it was feeling even without touching the brakes, and it's just been it's like I'm done. I'm done with the squealing. Gotcha. And it might even be the other side and not this side. Oh, uh, I got sweat in my eyeball. <laughs> One of them was squealing bad no matter where I'm at. I'm like, all right, uh, there we go. Okay. Oh, there it is. How you doing over there, buddy? Get your tire back on. All right. Yeah, I mean, uh, while I'm already, you know, you know, you guys already got me called out here, you know. <laughs> yeah, do you have online donations that you can do? Uh, Amazon, we have an Amazon wish list. Okay. Uh, it's on our Facebook page under the featured section, and our address is in the comments. Okay. Uh, well, my address is in the comments because our business doesn't have a physical address yet. Okay. We're working on that, though. <laughs> I just figured because I don't have cashier, I was like, "Can I do it online?" Yeah, we you can buy us like uh, tools and stuff like that offline. There's okay. stuff on there for like ten, fifteen, twenty dollars, five dollars here. You can get us like caps and valve stems and little patches for to repair people's tires with, because okay. that's really the stuff that helps us out. Weights, wheel weights that you know go on the edge of your rim and stuff. Yep, yep, all that stuff helps out. Because then, you know, we, we use that stuff to help the people, you know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's good to know you have a wish list on there that I can just go in and purchase stuff. Yeah. And it'll ship right to you then? Yeah, and you can actually purchase anything off of Amazon and ship it to us with our address. Okay. You don't have to just buy things off of the wish list. So if you see, like, a tool or something like that that you think we should have, don't hesitate. Okay. So in other words, if I win a, win a bunch of money, I can buy you that hybrid battery charger. Sure. <laughs> Absolutely. 
That was me that called you about that that one day. <laughs> what that's was the, it? That's the white Ford over here. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can buy it for him and then use it the first time. Right? <laughs> yeah, so he can use it. be the one the first one to use it. <laughs> yeah, he'd be like, "I see you got this in. Let's go. I need it." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because we, this is a good set, then we had to do an ignition on it. Oh, did you? Got the ignition done, and then we killed the battery on the bat hybrid part, trying to get it started again. I got you. So, of course, because the hybrid battery is too low, we'll start <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, uh oh, I messed up. Almost goofed on that one. Does the router still look good? I'm here it does. Yeah, it looks great. I, there's no grooves or anything in it. I mean, I don't, I can't tell if there's any warping or anything like that. But other than that, you know, there's, it feels good. You know, there's a slight groove at the top on both sides yeah. from where the pad rubs around, but what that's common. Yeah. There we go. Grab this clamp here right quick. Don't need all that dirt in my threads. Okay, grab one of these old pads here. Turn that baby up like that. Put that pad in there like that. Moved on me. <laughs> oh, I forgot one thing before I start pushing that in. That's something I normally, that's one of the first things I normally do is I go up to the, open the hood and I go up to the reservoir and I pop the reservoir cap open to, you know, for the fluid to uh, have somewhere to go. <sighs> Hey, how's your hood open on this? She went inside. <laughs> what? She went inside. Oh. My wife forgot her shake out here. <laughs> I can't seem to find the hood release on this thing. Do you know where it's at? I'm going to see. Use your impact on my lug nuts because a couple of them are not wanting to throw it on there. I don't feel anything anywhere. Oh. That's what I said. <laughs> Hold on, I think I I think I think this is a double popper. It is. The hood release is actually in the vehicle as well as you, when you pop it. So Gotta when you open the hood, you have to when you open the hood, you have to pull it two times. Yep. I love new stuff. <laughs> you haven't caught up on my truck there, Cat. Yeah. All right, there we go. Pulled the reservoir cap off for the uh, brake fluid. Now this will just go right back in, nice and easy here, just like that. Because if I didn't do that, I would have a heck of a time trying to get the uh, caliper to go back in. And I don't like fighting with it. Yeah, no. 
Y'all ain't getting me on that one. I'm going to re-grease these guys. Real quick, before you go back over there, you want to stop over here quick? Yeah. What's up, brother? Oh, my gut's damaged. Right here. How'd that happen? I don't know. They all came off just fine. That's old. Look yeah. at that. That's old. Yeah. Huh. This one's fighting going on. That's what this one I wonder here. if. Try switching the lug nuts into different positions. So one of the lug nuts is going to probably end up being stripped. That one's fighting too. No. Well, those two studs are bad. Yep. Are right, you can run it on with my impact? Might as well. I think you got. I think them are seven eighths on that trip. Lug nuts will fit this one. Well, right? if you need it, let me know, alright? Oh, I got you. Okay. Now, got your grease. I don't want too much grease on it, but, you know. What, what can happen is, is if you put too much grease on these, uh, in the bottom here, the grease will pull up on the bottom, and it won't allow the slider pin to slide all the way in. So, we're just going to coat these now. Wipe off a little bit of that access like that. Just like that. I'm going to slide that in. Now, how these go is like this. I'm going to show you guys now how to put these in. Okay. So now, you know, put it in this hole right here, and you're going you're gonna to slightly push until you hear a little noise. And... You know, just keep lightly pushing until you hear, uh, oh, yeah. All right, there we go. That one's nice and greased. <laughs> I just couldn't resist that. <laughs> At least it's pretty clean under there. Yeah, it is. I mean, car's not that old, huh? Yeah. There we go. Slider pins are all all done. Now people can stop complaining at me that I didn't grease the slider pins. Nope, I did. <laughs> Get the hood open. Oh, do you know how to open your hood? Well, I know how to open it from inside, but I thought my door was locked. Was That's like, oh. how you open it. I you know. can only open it from the inside. I know. I was like, I didn't know. know that yours was a double pop at first. Yes. And I had him come over, and I was like, Hey, can you come over and you know you know how to open this? And he come look at it. And he's like, I have no idea. And I was like, I wonder if it's a double pop. It is. Yeah. You know, because I've ran into that before. Yeah, because when I do my own changes, it's always a double pop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Because yeah. so I'll pop it the first, and then I'll do the second one real quick, and I'm like, wait, I got to wait, now I'll do it again. Yeah. Because you can't just do them back to back. Right, yeah, you got to pull it, let it go all the way, wait a second, and then pull it again. Yeah. And yeah. I like to just do the two pulls and just be done, and I'm like, Yeah, oh. just the two quick pulls and yep. be done, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah unfortunately not. I just kind of like how I do it, and I'm like, oh, 
I was like, wait, how did you guys See, what did I do with that 14 millimeter here? Was it on the... I got it right here. So is it just you that runs around then, or do you have other people that work with you? We have volunteers okay. during the summertime and stuff. Uh, during the winter time and you know uh, spring and fall, it's just me. Okay. Um, we used to have a motorcycle uh, riding club too. <laughs> That's what he said. Yeah. Um, what's that? That's what he was talking about. <laughs> Sometimes you go out with your bike instead of the truck and that. Yeah. Depending on what's going on. Um, we used to only go out on motorcycles. I bet you didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this whole business was originally started on our motorcycles. Uh, just me and then one day I stopped and I just helped somebody and I just kept doing it. And that was in 2014. And then in 2015, I was talking with some friends and stuff. They you know, were like, yeah, that sounds great. They started riding with me and we became a little group of like nine, you know, nine guys. And, you know, now, now you know, because COVID hit, you know, we all kind of split up. And when we all split up, I was like, well, I want to keep doing something, guys. I don't want to just split up. You know, they were all selling their bikes and stuff, you know. And I was like, heck no, <laughs> you know. And uh, um, so I took, the, I took my idea and I progressed it into what it is now. With help from local, you know, the people from the area and... The, all the towns that we serve, those the, the, the reason why we serve those towns is because those towns, uh, the townspeople came together and brought us a bunch of capital and said, hey, come service our town. Yes. So that's why we service that area, you know, like Reedsburg or Portage or whatever. Yes. It, once we when we first started, it was just Wisconsin Dells only. Oh. Yeah. And when we were riding our motorcycles. From uh, 2015 to 2020, um, you know, uh, it was, we were all over the state and only we, we rode the 55s in the interstates and we weren't around this area. Okay. So nobody ever heard of us. Yeah. You know, they didn't know what we were actually out there doing. We didn't have YouTube or nothing then, you know, so. Yeah. I mean, I guess I could say that, you know, it didn't. 100% fully dawn on me until uh, 2018 of what I, what was what I was trying to do, okay. you know, on people, you know, like nobody had any idea, you know, what any of this was all about, you know, or nothing. Uh, and then in 2018, that's when we really started getting a following because um, the. Uh, you know, when COVID hit and they put that travel ban up, um, and when, that's why none of us could ride our motorcycles. And that's about the time that I started this business up, yeah. you know, with the name and everything. So, yeah. All right, them ain't coming off. <laughs> nope. Move some tools here. Even though half of them are not even using. Yeah, I bet you really love this driveway, huh? Yeah, wait till it rains. Yeah. <laughs> I could just imagine, you know. <laughs> Unplug the camera there. Better plug that back in before it dies. Okay.
That's a good spot for it. supposed to happen. <laughs> you want a water? Uh, yeah, I can take a water. I appreciate that. Thank you. Do you want some help? No, I'm good. We always keep a <laughs> case of water in my vehicle. <laughs> Never a bad thing there. <laughs> yeah, I got a bottle of water in the truck, but I don't know how cold it is. That's cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could definitely use that. Oh. Little further down, it'll start cooling off more. I know, right? <laughs> that sounds the window open. Look, a little further down, it'll start cooling a little more. <laughs> we'll be fully in the shade. Yeah, you guys are right here in the sun on this one. <laughs> that sun's just beating right down on me. Well, at least this side will be a little better. You're in the shade now. Yeah, I'm not directly in that sun like I was on that <laughs> other side. Yeah, that sun was, boom, right in my face the whole time. <sighs> Oh, you can go up with that just a touch. A little bit more. Yep. All right, you want to let it down? Oh, the second one. They're not together, that's why. Uh, unlike the other one that's bolted together. Yeah. There it goes. Okay, don't, don't let it all the way yep. down. All right. That's like when he pulled it and he's like, hey, I know this. Uh, my place. whole life. Oh, you were here all this? Uh, I'm not originally from Wisconsin. I was actually born in Carbondale, Illinois, but uh, my dad was a truck driver. And so, you know, he moved us up here to Racine, Wisconsin from Illinois. To work in that big rock quarry down there mm. um and then we just kind of stayed ever since okay you know my parents eventually moved back to southern illinois where they're originally from uh i went down there for a little while during high school was down there for a couple years uh but ended up you know as soon as i graduated i came right back up here wisconsin's home always has been yeah, it definitely is a little different than the surrounding states, but I don't know if I could live in Illinois any time. I hated soon. living in Illinois. <laughs> like I said, if I was, if I would have been over the age of eighteen, I would have been, you know. He has a hole in his lip. Mm. No, it's called the beard that catches water. <laughs> there we go. I'm sure he has that fun too. I keep mine trimmed. Yeah, but you still get water that gets on it. No. No? I don't have that problem. <laughs> <laughs> My dad did though. Yeah. Like My that. dad had a big problem with that. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> This one's stuck in like the other one was. <laughs> uh, can you hear that hammer over there? Yep. Yeah, the other inside one was stuck like this too. What happens is, is as you're trying to pull them out, they they turn a little bit and then they yep. get stuck. Just like that. That easy. I wish I'd still had about a quarter, but it's just that it squeals so bad. Uh, it's more annoying than anything, probably. I still <laughs> break, but yeah, I can imagine. 
living in the city that I live in and you're driving at 25 miles an hour, not touching your brakes and it squeals, <laughs> I was done. <laughs> if I can't drop my kid off at school without hearing, <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm just done. Everyone's looking at you as you're turning and you're not even touching your brakes. Yeah, that's kind of annoying, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I can understand if I was touching my brakes, my brakes were low and whatever, but. Oh, that one was almost frozen there. Mm. I had to pull that pretty hard. So probably it was this side that was squealing and not so much the other side? I, w I would assume, yeah. You got more rust on this side than on the other one, too. Mm -hmm. So, there's that. Which is weird, because this is the side that stays dry. Because the sun hits this side, so this side stays dry, and the other side stays wet. Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> so I'm like, why is it rusting on this side and not this side? That That's the reason. Wet? That's it the dries? reason. It's not getting wet. Mm -hmm. And the cold hits it and stuff. And then when it does get wet, it's okay. making it worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> Maybe I should stop parking my or, car the way that it, I did. I don't know if that's actually what's going on with your situation here, but I have seen situations like that. Okay. <laughs> you know, because every situation is different, you know. Right. So do you still use the camera on your body? This is only for when police officers are around. Mm. The more protection. You never know what a police officer is going to try. Mm -hmm. They can do anything. Technically, what we do is not 100% legal. Mm. It's, it's a gray area of the law. We fall under, like, the Good Samaritan laws. Okay. And stuff like that. So... So when you're working on the side of the road out there, they can try to pull stuff. They could if they really wanted to. There wouldn't be a benefit for them, though. That, no, there wouldn't. No, no. It'd just be a nuisance at that point. Like. Yeah. And, you know, we like we want to work with the local law enforcement and stuff like that. We want them to call us out instead of calling out Platts. Yeah. You know, or, you know, one of those companies like that, you know. I'm not a big Platts fan. So, they got one of my cars from years back, so. <laughs> yeah, towed one of mine one time and broke something on it, and so I will never call them again. Yeah, I got pulled over when I was a kid. I had a busted out windshield, or, you know, kind of spider webbed all the way across it, and I got pulled over in the Dells, and the cops made me park it on the side of the road, and they were like, you know, you can't move it until you get the windshield replaced on it. And I went back like an hour later, and it was gone. It took me like four days to figure out where it was at. And by the time I figured out where it was at, I owed like $1,400 on the car. Oh, and that storage the pickup I had when I Plus the uh, tow bill. That happened with the pickup I had. Yep. The, the drive shaft broke on it. Had it fully off the side of the road. Johnny boy came along. And, yep. You're good to be here. Come back and tow it. You know, yep. Come back a couple hours later. And, it's and that's, that's what we fight against is against that stuff, you yeah. know? We want to fix the vehicles, get them back on the, you know, keep them on the road. Well, and we don't, we it, want to keep them off the tow trucks. turns around and says, yeah, you can take a couple hours to go come back and get it. And then all of a sudden it's gone when you get back. Yeah. Like, really? Yeah, that sounds permission. about right. <laughs> sounds, sounds really familiar. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Oh, yeah. Oh, oop, that's the wrong pad on that side. Make sure you put them in the right way. I can see if, it, if it's like blocking the road. But when you get it, yeah, fully, that's one thing. You when know. you get it fully clear off on the shoulder in the ditch, you know. Yeah. Out of the way. Yeah. And I can understand if it was three days later or a snow emergency yeah. or you know something like that. Yeah, but exactly. If I you're get coming what you're back saying, in yeah. an hour or two. There's no point. There we go. <clears throat> See, all brakes are supposed to go back together this easy. <laughs> all brakes are supposed to be this easy, everybody. But they don't. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, we don't get that luxury most of the time. This is probably a super rare case right here. <laughs> because I tell you what. You got the easy one here? Ten, There's the hard one. Ten bucks says the next one I do is going to be a hundred times harder than this. 
Because that's just my luck. Yeah, but he's doing that. Not me. <laughs> what she's saying right there is an example. <laughs> you get your other side done? No, I'm waiting. You oh, you're waiting on me? Come over and put those bolts on. Oh, oh I got you. I got you. I got you. So, yeah, he's like, I'd rather have him put them on with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at least they stay on until I take them off again and replace them. I got you. So when Once you I do, do the tires. tires and valve stems and all that, you can do that right on the side of the road with your trucks? Like, do you then, have air See that everything? red pole in the back of my truck? Yeah. That's a tire machine. Okay. It just doesn't have any of the attachments hooked up to it. So it, it just looks like a red pole. And you just carry a compressor and everything with you then, too? Mm -hmm. Attach attach the front bumper of the truck. Oh, that was your winch on there. Nope. We don't have, we don't do winching or pulling. That's okay. tow truck uh, company's jobs. Okay. Our truck we don't have a three quarter ton truck. Our trucks are only fifteen hundreds. And if you pulled or wenched really with a fifteen hundred, you're gonna pretty much pull your truck in half. You know, especially if you're trying to pull out, say, a truck like that one there that's gone off in a ditch, you know. Oh, you yeah. mean like when I messed up my transmission pulling the mailman? That, <laughs> yeah. That happens too. <laughs> and then went to the ditch in the snow just down the road here. Yeah. Blew the mess up the transmission on my 1500 bad. Trying to pull them out. That's crazy. Uh, All right. This truck had probably lost them up So you were in Racine then for a while. When did you come up here into like Dell's area? Uh, 2003. Correct. Permanently. But I've been coming up to the Dells area ever since I was knee high to a grasshopper. My parents always had a vacation place up here. My, my parents always loved Wisconsin Dells. You know, it's just they couldn't do the winters anymore in Wisconsin. Illinois is just as bad. Not where they live at. They live in southern Illinois. They, they get like maybe an inch of snow all year. That's it. They do get ice a lot, and their roads get, like, you know, two inches, three inches of ice on them, but, no. Further. I'm saying, she's like, by Peoria? I'm like, no, further down than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Further going yeah. into Let, Let's put it this way. You, you, you get into Illinois if you want to get to where my my parents live at. You get into the Illinois when you get into Illinois, you go all the way down to the very tip, down around like where you're thirty miles from the Kentucky border, down by Ina. Further, but that's same. Benton. Further, <laughs> <laughs> the furthest that I stayed down by Illinois Cairo was Chappelle. Illinois. I haven't went that far down in Illinois. Down by Carbondale and Marion. Harrisburg's so about 23 miles from Harrisburg, or from uh, Marion. Okay. So, and that's like the biggest city down there. I was born in Carbondale down there, but, yeah, you can't help that. Okay. <laughs> Your car's all done. I see that. <laughs> there you go. You got yeah, now I want to do this wheeling. Well, I mean, I might every now and again, but not when I'm turning. Yeah. Until I break them in. There we go. Okay. Now we'll just put her reservoir cap back on. Just like that. And shut her hood. And this vehicle is all done. <laughs> DS Vault, and we will catch you all in the next one.